Welcome to the Cell and Tissue Engineering Lab Space here in the Biomedical Engineering Department at the Johns Hopkins University Whiting School of Engineering. This space was designed specifically for undergraduate instruction in the Biomedical Engineering program. Here, students are able to gain hands-on experience in cell culture and exposure to the newest cell-based engineering techniques, many of which were developed in-house by Hopkins BME faculty and students. We're located on the first floor of Clark Hall, home of the Biomedical Engineering Department. Clark Hall is also home to the Biomedical Engineering Design Studio, a prototyping and makerspace that allows BME students to design and test solutions to important clinical problems. This newly designed laboratory space provides another level of testing capability for students. The BME Cell and Tissue Engineering Lab opened in January 2020 after an extensive renovation that doubled the available workspace and equipment. This expansion ensures that all BME students have the opportunity to learn current techniques that are needed to design and perform cell-based experiments. Here, we routinely work with both immortalized mammalian cell lines and primary human cell lines to model a wide variety of cellular behaviors and responses that help us address cutting-edge questions related to health and disease. The expanded lab has everything you need for sterile cell culture work, including nine multi-person biosafety cabinets, eight incubators, multiple centrifuges and bath warmers, refrigerators, and minus 20 degrees Celsius freezers, along with access to minus 80 and liquid nitrogen tanks for long-term cell storage. The space is also equipped with all of the specialized equipment needed to acquire and analyze cell-based data in the modern age of cell culture. Among the more advanced equipment in the BME Cell and Tissue Engineering Lab is our automated Countess 2 cell counter that helps students plan their experiments quickly and with ease. For high throughput experiments, the lab offers a Synergy 2 plate reader from Biotech that's equipped with both fluorescence and absorbance-based capabilities. This rapid acquisition imager can quantitatively measure more than 1,500 samples at once for a wide range of experimental applications. Some of these include performing antibody-based ELISAs to detect cellular proteins, measuring the expression of fluorescence-tagged engineered genes within cells, and even testing the efficacy of newly generated or designed dyes for various imaging applications. In order to monitor in vivo responses from both living and fixed cell samples, we also have four separate EVOS microscopes from Life Technologies, that have three-channel fluorescence detection abilities and up to 40x magnification. These microscopes allow students to visualize intracellular activity using basic light microscopy, complex antibody stains, and even real-time fluorescence expression in live cells following gene delivery. We hope that you've enjoyed this brief tour of our new BME Cell and Tissue Engineering Lab. To learn more about the space, the tools, the techniques, and our program in this video, please visit our website. We hope that you have the opportunity to come visit this space soon and use it to design your own cell-based experiments.